Hello, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited about today's video because we're going to be trying viral TikTok food. Yes! And if you know me and Joe, we love our food. Them. As you can tell, I've just found out along with the viewers here, we're going to be enjoying this video together. <laughs> Yay! Sometimes you just need to eat an entire cucumber oh, and this is how you do it. <laughs> so what do they do? Chop it up and then just eat it? Yes, yeah, so this guy called Logan has a full cucumber. <laughs> cucumber swinging it around <laughs> and slices it all up puts it into like a big jar or bowl and he makes different like variation salad things and they look really good i picked one of our favorite foods i've got some salmon they i better be scottish salmon i'm sorry cream cheese it better be cheesy avocado oh, i love that so we're gonna make a cucumber ch cream cheese salmon avocado variation what is it a sandwich no it's a salad thing we just eat it out of a oh we're cutting this up first yeah but what is it you're gonna find out. Right. I've seen people eat a full cucumber. Boy, have I. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> eat it by chopping it up and eating it in their mouth. I don't have the slicer where you go like this because it hasn't arrived yet. Next day delivery didn't pull oh, through. Oh, yeah. So no, we did have one, but it was too slicey for me. It sliced me up, so I ch chucked it away. do not suit me. I get injured quite a lot. I didn't like that. We're going to go back. Just put that down and talk. It's scaring me. We're going to go back to the traditional way of cutting up vegetables. Okay. We're... So as I told you, it's like the chef's slicing down. There's a lot of cucumber here. Hey, wait, that's your chef. Oh, yeah. That's what she yeah. I feel like a royal chef. I'm trying to teach him. On the other hand, he used to be like a bear claw. No. Nope. Bear claw. Oh, do you want to take over? I haven't got much left. It's that. Whoa. It's weird doing this when you're sitting down. Mine are well thick compared to yours. Ah! Oh. My dad's done that before. He's only got four fingers. He has, hasn't he? Yeah. This is why the slice is good, because you slice it in. Oh, that's, a, that's a lot, isn't it? We're going to have to use this. This one. I'm gonna give you the job of cutting the sal salmon up. That. I'm gonna get the. Or do you wanna do the avocado? Which I'll do you avocado. Do? I don't wanna do that. Don't you? Do you want your own chopping board? Yes, please. Now, if you've never scooped avocado before. This is a, oh, this is a perfect avo. Whilst Joe's doing the avocado, I'm gonna prep the salmon. Ooh. It says ready to eat as well, so you don't have to cook this, luckily. That smells like proper restaurant one. Not the cheap one we normally buy, that smells well good. Reaching over, chef. Watch out, behind you, chef. Am I chopping this up? Yes, chop it up and turn it into like little bits if you can. Like that? Yeah. I don't actually know how much salmon we should be putting in here, but I'm just going to put quite a bit. Get the Look at this machine. In. Have we got lunch after this, then? We've got paninis, but this is going to go with our paninis. Oh. Am I layering it on? Just chuck it in, yeah. Okay. I'm moving on to the cream cheese. This is called creamy soft cheese. <laughs> they had a lot of variations. In case you didn't know. Oh, do you want to take some of that avocado out? It's a bit of a lot in there. You said put it all in. Am I layering it on? Just chuck it in, yeah. Just take some of it out. But I've put it all in. Yeah, take some of it out. How? With a spoon. You wouldn't get this in a the chef, chef's there you go. kitchen. Yeah, that's fine. Huh. I'm just going to do a scoop of cream cheese. He kind of doesn't have measurements. He just... Oh, I made me... Oh. Some ranch. Uh, this is actually just garlic herb dressing. What's this building up to? Does that go with cream cheese? No, he said it does. Just for some finishing touches, some sesame seeds. Sesame seeds on it? It's not a burger bun. It's like the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, Kim. Hmm, I don't know, Courtney. That's all I've got. This is really go work out. Yeah. I don't know, Chris. I think it's done. Oh. Why have you got chopsticks? Because he eats it with chopsticks. Moment of truth. Whoa! I don't know how I feel about this. So like, what are we doing? It's like you've made cat sick. It looks a bit like coleslaw and it's really putting me off. Mm. And here is our entire cucumber craziness. I mean, it's just cucumber covered in everything we've just put in it, but that's fine. It smells quite nice to be fair. What are we doing with chopstick? I don't know that's how you do it. Mmm. Is it good? It just tastes like a salad. Mind you, I didn't have any salmon avocado. I'm sure you want to use chopsticks with your head. Try using properly. Now we use that one like that. <laughs> use a spoon. I think I've got a bit of everything on here. Cheers. This is what you got. Mmm. There you tastes go. Tastes alright, isn't yeah. it? It just tastes like a salad. Don't get it. I don't either. What but are we doing? This would be a really nice side for like our lunch. Yeah, that's. A, I could put that in a bowl. Got a bit of dairy in it. My stomach probably won't like me for that. No, you'll be pooing at the walls. So why is the cucumber massive and then everything else is mushed? I don't really know. Oh, I've got 
Sorry, I don't like it. I'm gonna rate this trend probably a seven out of 10. I'm gonna give it eight. An eight, okay. Yeah. That's our cucumber salad. I do all that. Moving on to the second one. We have seen this Kinder Bueno. I'm milk. already interested. You, you may change your mind in a minute. Vanilla and white chocolate milkshake. Give me that now. That's not Kinder. No, but what we're gonna put together is gonna make a Kinder flavor. Ooh. We've also got some hazelnut sugar-free syrup. By the way, this is the M <laughs> MSN. M Why am I saying MSN? <laughs> MSN! So the next one is the M MSN, I can't say it, I can't say it. M&S. The M&S, I say I got M&M's from M&S and I saw that m and I got M&M's from M&S from a sim. So this trend is the m and Oh my days. The M&S iced coffee latte, Kinder Bueno. I'm gonna stop you there. Thought you might. I'm out. You take your latte coffee taste and I will observe from here and go, hmm. You might like the taste. I like this. You can taste this. Every video and every time it's like, yeah, but I haven't got coffee in it. And it just tastes of pure rank. Well, this is supposed to taste like Kinder Bueno. I'm excited for this one. I've never seen like milkshakes and bottles like this. What? I've seen it. I grew up on these. What well, white chocolate milkshakes? Yeah, white chocolate, strawberry, banana, chocolate. Never seen it. I've seen the strawberry one. I think I've had a strawberry one before. But I'm guessing MS will be a better quality. Than what? Well, I grew up on. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Yes, I went to Netto. We are using a Starbucks cup, because that's what I've got. <laughs> Sorry, I've only got a glass Starbucks cup. <laughs> Why can't I open it? <laughs> if I can't open it. I think because I have wet hands. Yeah, that's what they all say, isn't it? it? Smells nice, though. Don't... No. Oh. You're supposed to do half and half of each. In that? Yeah. You're gonna put half of that in there. Yeah, you're gonna put that there. And then you're gonna put half of that in there. Yeah, it makes a coffee then, doesn't it? Or whatever it's supposed to be. It's gonna be up to. Alright then. I used to love iced coffee, but I have taken a bit of a turn and I haven't had it in a while because I don't know what it is, just for some reason it went off the taste. That's not half. Oh, Jack! Oh. <laughs> it does taste a bit milky though, which. I don't really like the taste of milk. Are you enjoying that? That is so much better with vanilla in it. So you got half of the other one and then a little bit of this one. No, half of it, there we go. And then we add some hazelnut syrup. I don't know how much, we're just gonna go with that amount. Oh, over there. Mixy, mixy. And here we have our Kinder Bueno M&S Viral Are you meant to mix iced it? Iced coffee. Cheers. That tastes like coffee. No, all right, thanks. Go on, I'm just being serious. You taste more <laughs> of this than that. It's happened again. It, it tastes of. Uh, it doesn't taste of coffee at all. Consider and I. You say this every. It doesn't taste fully like Kinder Bueno, but maybe it was my measurements. But I'm going to go with a 7.5. One. What's your rating on this one? Ten. Okay, that is quite good to be fair. This is probably the sixth time I've got no, definitely not having that. And you're like, no, it'd be fine, definitely not having it. I'm like, I'll do it, but it'll taste coffee. And then it does. That's like the sixth time now. I know, but it doesn't taste of coffee. It so tastes... you do know. I know, but when I... Went... I'm so sorry. It tastes of coffee. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Have you heard of crumble cookies? Everybody's good at cooking something. I'm good at cooking crumble. Would you like some? Would you like some, everyone? Insert clip. Who is it? The crumble lady. I don't know who the crumble lady is. Well, would you like some? So, crumble cookies is this crazy big cook. I know you like these, aren't you? Crumble cookies are these viral cookies. And basically, their menu is they change the menu up every single day or every week, and they have completely new flavours. I mean, crazy flavours. Someone's selling crumbly cookies and they're changing it every day. But we can't get them over here in the UK. You're a smart cookie. And I've seen this trend on TikTok where you can make your very own crumble style cookie from MS. I've got the white chocolate. M&S cookies. To be fair, I love bakery cookies that are like this, so I'm already winning on this. I just love cookies. Ooh, these are big ones. We're making four, there's only two of us. Can I have a bit of this cookie or not? We don't need to do four, that's that's ridiculous. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's a cooker. I know, but crumble cookies are really soft and gooey when you open them. And that's probably, probably the best shop, shop cookie ever. That is good. Nothing will beat the little ones, the little bakery. Insane. Oh, yeah. No, you're right, though. These white chocolate ones are good. We're just eating it now. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Delicious. Mmm. And we're going to add a little bit of milk on it. And when I say a little bit of milk, we're going to only put a little bit of milk. What's going to happen to the milk? Supposed to make the cookies really soft. There we go. That should Ooh. be enough. And then. You 
can try this at home if you have adult supervision. We're now going to put these in the oven for about five minutes just to warm up and get the real crumble texture. And then what? You're doing that with no gloves, you crazy man. I may have left them in a little bit too long because they are a little bit on the soft side. Oh! What is this trend? How does it work then? Because you're covering them but in... We're going to decorate them. We use a vanilla icing oh. and the salted caramel icing. Never tried these before. I love icing. I could sit there and eat a whole tub of icing. All right. Oh. Look at that little dinket. Do a little... It's not ice cream, it's icing. Icing try. Oh, it's so good. I love icing. Right, that's good. I don't know how that does do not them. taste like it's good for you. I've got my little spatula. Yeah, I'll try and do the best ones. Oh, that was satisfying. That was quite a good one, actually. And I had to scrape a cookie off before. I feel like this does fit the um, cookie crumble <laughs> vibe because I have heard when people do the reviews that they're really soft and just fall apart. Scrapes on there, make like a little decoration on it. Or don't know, watch me do mine first. <laughs> that's a good one. I've got a little icing nipples. You make like a little rounded thing to make it look Quite decorative. Oh, that's what they do in the shop. That actually looks quite nice, you know. Okay, let's go. So this is what mine's looking like. So I've just done like a little rounded shape of salted caramel. Oh. Yeah, you got the you got the gist there. I'm gonna add some fudge on top. So little fudge pieces. Oh, that's nice. I'm, I'm sure you can buy them though. You can, but they didn't have any available. You out of stock? Stack. You out of stock? Oh, calling the caterpillars face as that's chocolate, not fudge. No, I thought that might look quite nice on that one. I mean, there's all sorts going on in there. Oh, I didn't expect that. You can put some Smarties around on it and stick the face on. Greatest bits. Whatever bits you've got them. Oh, lovely. Well, you can really make a masterpiece of that. Don't eat them all. Is this, this is white chocolate, do you think? Hello. Got a salted caramel one and then a Colin the Caterpillar one. I'd buy this one. Well, I guess I better get me two all. <laughs> it's like he's been flattened on the road. <laughs> it's like Mrs. Delphi's face. <laughs> The icing really does make a difference. That's good because I really like fudge. My fingers are a bit. Mm, it's so good. How many cookies are we eating today? This will be our third. No, second. I want to try a bit of that one. No. Okay, it is very, very stodgy. Stodgy. But it is, it's quite soft and falling apart. Just an oven wood. These do taste really nice. They are a little bit on the softer, falling apart inside. But which... in the bottom of a bowl or plate for dessert, heated up with ice cream on it. Oh. That will be banging. I... That do... will be banging. <laughs> so overall, these are quite sickly. <laughs> What? Um, Don't listen to him. Cover your ears. I think I prefer yeah. the vanilla one. This one's yeah. just a little bit too sickly, but I do like the little fudge pieces because I love fudge. I'm going to give it a five. <laughs> like the trend. I don't think it's the best cookie I've ever had. I'd give it an eight because you can scoop it out for a dessert. Like well cookie good. dough, yeah. Yeah. This is not cookie dough. Oh. And your presentation was good. I'll give your presentation a seven. Thank you. I also didn't realise these existed. Bag of Collins bits. I thought it was just Collins faces. No, it's his bits. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for joining whatever this was. I actually really enjoyed chase testing. Love Little. chase testing. Chase testing. Can we finish the rest now? Um, yeah, but we're gonna have lunch first. Yeah, you're right. Oh! <laughs> That'll be banging. 